Hey everybody, my name is Cameron Corbin. And I'm Stacy Corbin and Whitestone Rocks. We pastor Whitestone Church in Austin, Texas. We're so excited that you're at Life Together Groups for week number three. Yay! Okay, week number three. There we go. Uh, so today we're talking about vision. And we firmly know what the scripture teaches in Jeremiah 1, that God formed you in your mother's womb. Before your mama knew you, God knew you. Before the world knew you, God had a purpose for you. He appointed you. He anointed you. He set you apart. God's called you to do a specific thing, whether that's fixing cars or being a missionary in Africa or starting a church or singing worship to Him. God's called you to do something better than most people. He's given you a talent. He's given you a gift. And so this week, we've, studied, we've looked at the life of, of, of Samson. And in Judges, uh, the book of Judges, it teaches us that God had a vision for, Sam, for Samson's life. And he was called to take a Nazarite vow. He wasn't supposed to drink wine. He wasn't supposed to eat or touch anything that was, came from an unclean or dead animal or dead person. He wasn't supposed to cut his hair. So God gave him a vision, but he also gave him conditions about that vision. And we all kind of know the life of Samson. He, he married a, a woman, a, a Philistine, that he wasn't supposed to marry, and, and he was drinking wine, and he ate honey from a dead animal, was touching dead things, and, and his ultimate demise was that his hair got cut. And at that point, he found himself uh, in, a, in prison with no vision. So he went from God's vision to no vision, just like that. But my favorite, one of my favorite passages in Scripture I want to read to you, it's Judges chapter 16. It says, However, the hair of his head began to grow back. I'm telling you that God's called you to do something great. And no matter where we find ourselves, God says, listen, it's never too late to achieve the vision, the purpose that I created you for. So this week in your group, I want you to ask the question, what's God's vision for your life? What is it that you want to do? What's the dream that God's put in your heart to do for him? Is it to start a business? Is it raising those grandbabies? You know, what is the vision that God's given you? And, and then ask yourself, where did it get derailed? Where have I diverted? Where have I followed my own vision and not God's vision? And, and whether you find yourself on the mountaintop or, or in the dungeon with no vision, I'm here to tell you, remind you that God is restoring to you the calling and the vision and the purpose and the plan for which he created you. So discuss that this week and encourage one another, even though your vision may sound crazy, this girl's got some crazy visions. Crazy vision. She's got some crazy dreams. And sometimes I go, you're crazy. And the Lord says, don't call her crazy because those visions and dreams came from me. So, so as you share with one another, uh, just, just get ready for what God wants to do. So we love you. Have a great time. And uh, get ready because God's given you a vision. And he wants to bring it to fruition. Amen. Amen. Jesus keeps you safe. Live life loved.